Hello folks, welcome back to the African Allure Outdoors. So today we are going to be doing something a little bit new for me. I've never ever <clears throat> owned a pop-up blind or set up a pop-up blind. So I've got the invitation to hunt some problem warthogs at a neighbor of mine. Um, it's to ladies that live by themselves and uh, they've got warthogs that seem to be giving them quite a amount of numerous problems so I went to go and have a look at the setup yesterday and um, yeah I think a pop-up would probably be the best as there is just one big tree there where I could maybe put up a, a, a tree stand but it won't work properly well not for what I, I want so I've got a good friend here in town um, a Yaku and uh, he's been kind enough to lend me a pop-up blind as I don't own one so before I go and set up the blind, I thought what I would do is I would take it and set it up here and um, maybe just try it out before I go out there. So we're just uh, heading out. It's a little bit windy here today because um, we're expecting a pretty severe cold front um, on the 8th of July. Today is the 7th of July. You see uh, how eager young Dan is here. Yeah? So come on boy, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come. We're gonna go and put up the tent. Come. Come boy. Alright, you can walk. This is Delilah. She's my blue tick. Is that blood dog? This is old choppy. Chopper. Come on, let's go. Huh? What do you say? Come. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't even know what brand tent this is, so we're gonna go and set it up here. Excuse how it looks here, but uh, this is all a work in progress. See, we have to put thorns on the grass to keep the animals off, otherwise they eat all the good stuff. Come, little pie. So we're going to put this up in the open here. Um, I think the best thing I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put this uh, camera on a bit of a time lapse. Uh, just to save you guys watching hours and hours of boring erection of a tent because I'm not sure how this tent erects. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, so we managed to get the pop up popped up. It was a little bit challenging. <laughs> it was actually more challenging than what I expected but uh, I'm not sure what the name brand is here but uh, it seems to be pretty cool looks like it might do the job what do you say tiny Now, I'm pretty tall, I'm six foot seven, and I can actually stand up in this tent, so that's pretty cool. I think what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to maybe shoot a practice shot out of this, out of this uh, blind. I think that would be uh, probably the right thing to do and the most practical thing to do so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a stool I'm going to get my bow and I'm going to get a broadhead boat I think a couple of the things that I want to do is I want to maybe just uh, also just build myself maybe a bow stand that I can hang my bow up while I'm in here because I don't see it any any place here as nice as this tent is um, 
I don't see any place here to actually hang a bow up. So what do you say? Hmm? Sir? Thanks my boy. Uh, I see there are some 10 pigs in here where I feel that there are some 10 pigs in the bag. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably not going to knock this thing down today although it's uh, pretty windy here. And I'm going to go and get that broadhead butt and the bow as I said and we'll take it from there. Alright, come Ty, let's go and get uh, a chair for you and one for me and uh, we can come and try it out and of course we must get the bow so that's pretty cool Okay, so I've set myself up very basically, um, nothing too great shakes, I've got a, obviously a camera up in here, so we're going to just uh, close up the door, because uh, this is all just a simulation process of how the thing will work. So I've got the target out there, that's probably at about... Uh, 15 yards or so and it looks pretty cool here my bow down on a blanket tripod and uh, I've got one of my wife's stools from probably the 1970 era stuff it was actually her dad's so let's hope it holds me and yeah we're gonna fling one or two arrows and we should be good to go so let's hope everything's all right see this camera's horribly skewed Probably not a good plan. <laughs> All right, thanks, folks. Stay tuned. So what we want to do is we actually just want to check that um, your riser, the riser rest here, clears the bottom of the window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my arm to where I would shoot. Should be there. So probably need to go back just a little bit sitting right on the very edge of this chair so this should be a bit uh, interesting hey that was a pretty good shot that was bullseye ten ring considering I'm sitting pretty uncomfortably here it's actually quite good. I'm gonna have to uh, improvise a seat that's a little bit higher than what this one is because I don't think I'm gonna be able to stand and shoot. I think uh, the roof is probably gonna compromise me. One thing I will say is that here in Africa although we're in the dead of winter and it is a cool day it's flipping hot in this thing. Right, let's see. Hopefully we don't hit a, a knock on this uh, otherwise you get called the knock hunter. Well, that was pretty good gripping, I must say. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, I haven't picked up the bow in probably, I don't know, 10 days. So, I think it's a gripping like that's not too, not too shabby. It is a little bit high, but again, it's that thing of, uh, I didn't put the lights on my pins this morning. And uh, I tend to shoot a little bit higher when the pins are not lit. Out of, especially out of a dark line. So I'm quite happy with the results. Okay, so let's go and have a look. I just want to show you that um, for a tall person like myself, I'm two meters tall or 6.7. Um, from my eye level, which is here, I can't see anything. I can maybe see five foot out the blind. Um, my other challenge would be 
bringing the bow back to full draw here. So I'd either be in sort of a kneeling position. So I, I really have little choice. I think if you're about probably five foot ten, you could probably shoot out of one of these windows quite comfortably. So these blinds are obviously suited towards the smaller guys or to children. I must say I'm quite excited to get my kids out here. I thought uh, they might have come and joined me, joined me here already, but uh, obviously uh, daddy was taking too long. So let's get, a, let's get out the blind and go and have a look and see what the damage is to that uh, board in back. So as you can see I would uh, deem those pretty fair arrows, um, I'm quite happy with the results. I'm not shooting broad heads, I'm actually shooting similar weight field points. So the similar weight field points are a 200, 200 grain field point. <coughs> Penetration is quite insane in the, on these things. Anyway, so I guess I'm going to fold this up and we're going to go and put it in place. So, we're going to put you back on the time lapse. Thanks for watching. <laughs>